Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is definitions. Or definitions kaun si hain? Benefits ki definition hai, board ki definition hai, contribution ki definition hai, or relevant section hai, section 2 of the Employees Old Age Benefit Act 1976. So now let's discuss definition of benefits. Ye jo definition hai, ye section 2 mein hai. Aur is mein hume focus isi pe rakhna hai, ke is law ke tayad benefits kise kate hai. Aayye, dekhte hai definition kya kati hai. Benefits mean old age pension. Benefits means invalidity pension. Benefits means Survivor's pension, benefits means old age grant and such other payments as may be determined by the federal government from time to time, my dear students. My dear students, the establishment of uh, old age pension system got popular during the last two decades. In this regards, my dear students, Germany legislated in 1889 and introduced the first old age and invalidity insurance law. Denmark instituted a system of old age outdoor relief in 1891. New Zealand in 1898. New South Wales in 1900 and Victoria in 1901. Belgium in 1900. In 1908, my dear students, the Commonwealth of Australia enacted an invalidity and old age pension measures to go into effect by July 1, 1909. My dear students, in this regards, the French Senate has recently passed a measure of obligatory and contributory old age insurance. My dear students, this widespread movement has become prompted by mixed motives, which are humanitarian and economic considerations. My dear students, humanitarian grounds is the most important ground in this regards. My dear students, in this regard, the first man who directed public attention to the problem of old age provision in England were a philanthropist who desired to reduce the volume of human misery and this was due to, to, to their knowledge that they were quite shocked by the extent of old age pauperism. Pauperism kate gurbat. They proposed that a pension system be established as a means of taking aged workers out of the alms houses and enabling them to spend their last years in self-respecting comfort, my dear students. My dear students, later, the history reveals that the humanitarian motive was reinforced by economic considerations, the changing conditions of economic life forced the problem of industrial superannuation upon the attention of the employers, my dear students. Now let's move on to discuss definition of board as mentioned in the law. Board means the board of trustees constituted under section 7. Now question arises, what is meant by the board of trustees? To my dear students, board of trustee kya hota hai? Dekhe. A board of trustee is an appointed or elected group of individuals that has overall responsibility for the management of an organization, my dear students. So, board of trustee ki zumedari kya hai? Ki koi agar organization hai, to usko kaise chalana hai, wo board of trustee chalayega. Or, board of trustee jo hai, ye ensure karta hai, ke wo ho, jo ke stakeholders ke liye best hai. Or as a decisions liye jayen jis mein sab ka bhala ho. Now let's move on to discuss the definition contribution. 
as mentioned in section 2 of the law. Contribution means the sum of money payable to the institution by the employer and or by the federal government in respect of an insured person under the provisions of this act, my dear students. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.